Hey, what is up guys, Shadow Panther here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new update that is going to be coming to Player Unknown Battlegrounds Mobile, or basically PUBG Mobile for short. And this new update is going to be 0 0.60, and it's going to involve some new things into the update that I really think y'all should know. But before this video starts, make sure to smash that like button and share with your friends, and uh, I'll have a link to the original video where I found all this information out. And if you want to know more information in daily PUBG Mobile, and more tips and tricks on how to do better you can go subscribe to the PUBG mobile official channel i have that in the description and the video i found all this out in the description as well so you can go check that out now the first time me ever hearing about this new f update that was going to come was around june 7th when the video was posted i was one of the first people to watch it and the thumbnail said first look PUBG, Mo PUBG mobile first person perspective gameplay so when i saw that i immediately clicked on it and they were they, this guy was beginning to talk about the new update that was coming to PUBG Mobile and this update has now the the um, they've sent a notification Tencent has sent a notification into the game about all the things that's going to consist into the update so I'm going to read that for you guys right now now when you go to PUBG you're probably gonna get this it's just not really a notification it's more like a maintenance notice and it says PUBG Mobile will be going offline for maintenance from something something to a I don't even know June 18th, so that which is tomorrow. Maintenance is duration subject and bending bonus. Update between June 19th and 25th to get renamed card one, outfit box three, seven day, and then a bunch of BP points. And all the things that are new basically is they said first person, Royal Pass season one, mini zone, a smaller map, more resources and airdrops, weapon and airplane finishes. Mini, I think you can add camos and textures or something to the airplane, I believe. Uh, new weapons in the armory, which is I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. And pistols get their own UI or UL UI. I think it's I. Male weapons can destroy tires. Individual teammates can be muted, which is what I like. Post match results screen, tier protection system, Asian character models, emotes, which is kind of like Fortnite, but whatever. Able to link to nest social network accounts, added room cards, new items in the shop. Items can be gifted. So uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. But the first thing they were talking about, let's, let's talk about the first thing, which was the first person's perspective. Obviously, that's going to be the first thing on their list, and I was kind of waiting for this. I was kind of hoping they would add first person into this um, mobile game because I feel like most first person shooters are for the mobile phone are kind of you know sort of laggy a little bit like i played modern combat 5 that's first person and it was all right to an extent it was pretty action-packed really really great for a game but it didn't the characters didn't move like they would in a normal first person they were just kind of you know kind of slow i guess they didn't really know how to animate a character running in first person but if you guys go click on the video he's gonna have actual gameplay of him playing in first person so you guys can check that out and it's really looking really really smooth and i actually like that a lot and another thing let's talk about new weapon and airplane finishes now in real pubg you can already add camos and stuff like that to your weapons and when you can add when i found that you can add uh camos to your weapons in pubg mobile i honestly was amazed because Maybe that could update the supply drops when you open a supply crate and get for your BP points. You can, instead of getting clothes and stuff, you can actually get new camos and skins. And if there's like a holiday or something, they can have like special holiday skins. So you kind of like gamble for that. It's kind of pretty much turning into Call of Duty supply drops in my opinion. Now the next thing is view weapons in the new armory. And when I saw this, by the way, everything I'm talking about is inside the video. When I saw this... He basically went to the armory. There's a new thing that's going to be down there. It's called, it's called the armory. And he is... You can, be, can basically go in there, pick a weapon, and then add attachments to it. And then see the weapon stats on the right-hand side. And see what different attachments affect the weapon. What gives it more recoil and things like that. And pretty much, you can kind of know what to pick up whenever you go to the battlefield. And also, pistols get their own UI. Which means you can actually have two primary weapons and a pistol instead of only limited to two. And then melee weapons can destroy tires. I'm not really too happy about that, but whatever. And then whatchamacallit, emotes. Now, when he showed the emotes, they basically had, I think he had the wave, or the salute, and the bl kiss blow. So you could just blow kisses or something like that. I really, really think that they're going to add more emotes to the supply drop system as well and this course is going to be new items in shop and the last one i'm going to talk about is items can be gifted so i feel like that they're going to 
be let you able to like give clothes or something to your people like if you have too many clothes in public mobile you can do you can kind of like di di what's the word? dismantle them and get like um what should I call it little puzzle pieces that you put together and get like a little new outfit or something like that so when I figured when they said items can be gifted my thought was you can give like clothes to a teammate who like say just started and has no clothes already he has to earn his clothes you can just give him some of your old ones and stuff like that that's pretty much all what I think is going to be in the game. Now, I can't wait for it. It's June 18th, so that's tomorrow. Um, I will be waiting when the update drops. I will be pretty much staying all night. <laughs> I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to stay all night. Or just something, be the one the first people to do a video on the first person mode. Because I really, really want to enjoy it. And so... But yeah, that's all it's going to be for this video, guys. Just a short commentary right there. Let you guys know what's going on on PUBG. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with your friends. And go f subscribe to PUBG Mobile, the official channel. I'll leave their link in the description. You can watch the video I got all my information from. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.